somebody meets you for the first time, what do you hope they think? I hope they think that I'm nice and that I'm not, a, I'm not like a zombie or, or like a horrible creature that's trying to like hurt people. How do you hope they introduce themselves? I hope they say hi first and I always shake their hand. Hello. Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Why did you want to do this interview today? To tell people that miracles do exist. Do you feel like a miracle? Yes. When you share your story with somebody, how do you hope they react? Well, I know it'll make them sad, but I hope that it gets to their heart and I hope it gives them hope and faith on themselves too. I know they might feel bad for me and everything, but I would like they think, well, if he's a, if like, if he did it, I could do it too. So courage and strength. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect hearing this word in truth and sincerity. All right, so as you saw from that video, man, all right, every week, every reason, all right, to fear Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, just, you know, I saw that video, man, and you know, my skin crawled, you know, and that's not to say it in a jokingly matter but that's to say it out of fear you know because we understand that judgment is in the hands of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah you know and you know of course if you're doing wicked you're going to be met with you know judgment man horrible judgment you know and if you're doing righteousness you know you're going to be met with you know reward you know um, good judgment you know as our Lord Yahweh Shah said he that is filthy let him be filthy still and he that is um holy let him be holy still you know, and um, pretty much, you know, you know the Lord, Yahweh Shai is ultimately going to come back and recompense judgment to everybody. But even before the Lord comes back, man, there's going to be judgment going on on this planet Earth. And as you can see, you know, everything going on right now is pretty much, you know, a uh, uh, a teaser, so to speak. It's another word for that, but I'm going to go ahead and say it's a teaser, a trailer for what's really to come. You know, and um, as you can see, these people are in horrible, you know, predicaments. By how about Shim Yahusha? Now that individual that you see in the um in the video, you know, Lord knows what that person, you know, you know, did in this life or in the past life to receive a horrible judgment like that, you know, to be burned and then even survive. All right, what they went through. All right, which shows you that, you know, like the scriptures say. Um, let me get that real quick in First Samuel. All right, First Samuel chapter two and verse six. The Lord killeth and maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Alright, so that individual, you know, went through a horrible, you know, burn and pretty much, you know, lived after that. Why? Because Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai ordained that to happen, you know. You know, we, we, we can all, you know, we can all uh, imagine if that person wanted to, you know, leave this, uh, uh, leave that body and go back to the spirit world, that person would, but we understand that there is no free will. Alright, it was Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's will. That person's spirit, all right, stay stay contained within that body, you know. So that's why the the uh, context of this lesson is pretty much to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, all right. But this is Ecclesiastes thir three and verse fifteen. That which have been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and the most I require that which is past. Now, you know we use this scripture a lot and bring it out against the Edomites, but you know this scripture could also be applied. You know, against everybody, man, because we understand that this is not the first time that we've been on planet Earth. All right, we've lived our right, past lives here. All right, and pretty much, you know, a lot of people are back here today for judgment. You know, for things that for things that they did in their past life. You know, and even playing out their lots. You know, or that you know that the Lord sent them back here to do. You know, and the Lord in this lifetime is requiring all that, man. Verse sixteen. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, you know, that place of judgment is here on planet Earth, you know, that's another thing that people say that, you know, because of Christianity, 
you know, this lie has been taught that when we die, or right, you, either, you either go to heaven or on earth. All right, but the scripture says that, you know, when, when you know that, you know, pretty much reincarnation is biblical, man. All right, I'm going to keep it at that because I don't want to go too deep into, you know, all that. I just want to keep this a simple lesson, you know. But it says, and moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. And that place of judgment is here on planet earth. You know, that wickedness was there. And the place of righteousness, that iniquity, iniquity was there. All right. And that's here on planet earth. You know, where, you know, you got both the wicked and the righteous are right, living out their lives. All right. That Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah set for them. All right. Verse 17. I said in my heart, the Most High shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a purpose. So like, for there is a time. Therefore, uh, every purpose and for every work. I, I kind of got sidetracked, but forgive me for that. I'm going to read that again. I said in my heart, the Most High shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time, therefore, every purpose and for every work. All right. So for every, you know, there's a time for, you know, every work, every judgment are right, to happen. You know, it's all in the hands of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, of course. All right. But the point being is that, man, you know, the Heavenly Father... You know, ultimately sends the spirit back on earth or in new bodies to ultimately receive their judgment. As we know, scripture says, you know, what happened. This right here is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. See thou, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. All right. Point blank and period. Yahweh said that I wound and I heal, man. All right, so that condition that you see that person is in, well, ultimately, the, the most I did it through his son, Yahweh Shah, man. All right? And if that person, you know, was to die, all right, ultimately, the Lord wanted them to die. But as we can see, you know, that person is, is alive and talking, you know? So only, you know, only, you know, one, one person can do that, man. Have you in that jacked up predicament and still keep you alive. All right. Verse 44, I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will, will reward them that hate me. You know, I'm pretty much going back to what I stated earlier that, you know, that individual, you know, whether in this life or the last life or I did some wickedness that the Lord, you know, was pretty much, you know, uh, highly against. To receive that judgment, because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is a righteous judge. You know, whatever you do, you're gonna receive, you know, the the just judgment, the due judgment because of your uh, your actions, man. You know, so as we can see, you know, that person in that jacked up predicament, we can tell, you know, through the spirit that that person was a highly wicked individual, man. All right, and now somebody that's within the flesh, they're gonna hear this and get messed up over it, but you know. We're dealing with, you know, reality here. We're dealing with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right, we're not dealing with flesh carnal feelings, man. All right, because the Lord don't deal with that, you know. The Lord, the Lord is straightforward to the point. All right, this right here is Matthew 10 and 28, which is the dagger, you know, because we understand that. And I'm going to go ahead and read it and I'll explain it. Matthew 10 and 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. All right. And that's Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right. Because that hell is not speaking of where you go and burn forever. That hell is pretty much speaking of a condition, you know, and only the most I can put you in a jacked up condition. All right. Your soul in a jacked up condition. All right. On this planet Earth, man. You know, because hey, like I'm keep refer referring to. You know, how this individual, you know, if he wanted to, he'd probably, you know what I'm saying? If he wanted to, he'd probably just, you know, you know, die and go back to the spirit world, you know? But it's not up to him. It's up to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right, because, you know, you can only imagine how bad it hurt. It had hurt when, you know, that person was going through that fire, you know? And he wanted to give up the ghost, and no, not the ghost, but give up the spirit in that moment, you know? But Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah kept his spirit in that body, man. All right, which is ultimately scary. So, and fear not them which kill the body. So, don't fear these people out here, you know, uh, uh, people such as, you know, the likes of Esau, all right, who can only kill you in this body, all right, but can't touch your spirit, can't touch your soul, man, all right, but are not able to kill the soul, 
but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell and that's the heavenly father because how about shimmy al he can take you out of this body all right and your spirit still belongs to him he can do whatever you want with your spirit all right so that was pretty much the point you know i just thought i can do uh you know a lesson off of that lord willing it was edifying call law yahweh by shim yahweh shai by shim rakakadash and never honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone until the next time i say shalom